Okay, y'all. I am going to try and make this video on how to share the road with a truck. And show you some pretty, pretty scenery on top of it. It's beautiful up here in the Carolinas. Let's see if any of these guys don't know how to share a road with a truck. What my point to this section of this video is to see how these cars right over here are passing us, right? And they're, they're doing it safely and properly. But sometimes you'll get one or two that wants to get up in front of you real close like. Yeah. Here's the tip. When you want to merge in front of a semi, when you look in your rear view mirror, if you cannot see the top of my truck, if you were to hit your brakes, I'm going to hit you because I will not have enough time to stop. If you see the top of my truck before you merge over, I'll have time to hit them brakes. You got to take into consideration the load that I just dropped weighed me at 78 79 8 wasn't it 79 3 oh i thought it was more than that okay i was 79,000 pounds and some change how's that we'll put it to you that way think about that 79,000 pound rolling bullet you come to a stop real quick it takes us a little bit so think about that the next time you want to cut in front of a semi truck put on your turn signal give us a chance to see it and when you look in your rear view mirror and you see the top of my truck you are safe to merge over in front of us that's your tip for the day while we're looking at a beautiful drive in North Carolina beautiful blue skies mountains in the background beautiful 62 degree weather 62 degrees my wife said we're getting ready we're on 25 we're getting ready to merge on to 26 heading up to 40 heading west let's see all of these guys today have been doing real good and i'm real proud of the fact that they know how to uh drive with the semi but it doesn't happen for us that way and i'll tell you what we don't do fender benders there ain't no such thing if we hit you you've done got god and that's not a good thing most of us out here driving a truck don't want to hurt nobody. And I will say about 99.9% .9 of us don't want to hurt nobody. We are just trying to make a living and get to where we're going just like everyone else. Most people think we have 18 wheels, so we have 18 brakes. We don't have 18 brakes. Okay? We have one, two on the steer tires. Three four, five, six for our drive tires. That's the ones behind the sleeper. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And those are the sets of tires on the back trailer. We have 18 tires, but you have to think about this. We have two tires with one brake. Two tires on this side with one brake. Tire back behind them with one brake set of tires here with one brake. We don't have 18 brakes. Okay. One brake per set of tires. So, with that being said, there's my beautiful wife driving. Don't see her driving much through the day like this and me being a passenger. Actually weird. <laughs> I haven't driven during the day in a while. I mean, morning, yeah, but... Not with me sitting right here. Usually I'm back there. And yes, it's a heaping mess in the back because we're getting ready to do laundry up here. So we kind of got it all piled up on the bed. But after we're done doing laundry and such, see, look, look, he's sitting right there. What? He's losing lane. See that? Can you see him? Now he's in the emergency lane. That's another thing. I didn't catch that time to really show you guys properly. I got a car right here. I couldn't go over if I wanted to. We had a car 
right there. You see it in the mirror? Now he's slowly coming up. Okay. Okay, that guy just showed you in the pickup truck. He didn't know how to merge on the highway with us. Here's the thing. See, we couldn't get over because of that car. They were next to us. Okay. When you are getting onto our road from that ramp, y'all are the ones that are supposed to merge, not us. Okay. And yeah, you have your little jackass drivers out there, truckers, that don't get over when they could. Okay. Some of the drivers, and it don't make it right, get like this because they get so much disrespect from the four wheelers. Two wrongs don't make a right, and I don't agree with it because that's how accidents happen. But that pickup truck I showed you, he didn't know how to merge. He didn't see that we didn't have, we had a car next to us, so he wanted to sit there and try to force us to slam on our brakes. Well, slamming on our brakes can do a ripple effect because we've got people that are behind us can hurt our brakes, burn them up, and can shift our load. Well, ours doesn't shift that easy, but others do. So when you get to halfway mark on that truck and you look and we're not getting over, you have two options. Get that throttle and go and get ahead of us and go. Which you guys can do faster than we can. You guys can go faster than we can. You can speed up quicker than we can. It takes us a minute. You gotta think. A lot of these trucks have like 14 gears. Ours says 12, but it jumps gears. We have others that have 16 gears. We have some that have 10 gears. Either way, when you're hauling butt with a big old trailer back there, it don't matter if the trailer's empty or not. We are still at least 32,000 pounds empty. That's still a whole lot of something, something. So when you get to this trailer, you have the option to think, how much ramp do I have? And if they're not getting over for me, there's either a car next to them or they're being a jerk. So do I get my throttle and go and get in front of them safely? Or do I just back off and let them go, get behind them and go around them, which is so much safer. Don't get into that on ramp and then hit your brakes when you're next to us. If you get to this point where I can see you right here next to me, by my mirror, either hit that throttle and go or just hit your brakes. That way nobody gets into an accident. Let's see if these guys know how to do it. We got quite a few. Now see, she's slowing down, trying to give him respect. But see, look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. He's slowing down on us. That's the wrong thing to do. He needed to speed up. Okay. I'm not hitting the brake. I just let off my throttle. Yeah, we didn't have to hit the brakes on this one. We could let off the throttle on that one. We are empty weights, so we understand what our truck can and cannot do. But that was an improper merge right there. These guys were on the ramp, and they just went around us. See how much safer and happier they are? No accidents, no incidences. Safety is in your hands as well as ours. But if you can't help us, sometimes we can't help you. Woman driving me freaking bonkers. And that's our baby girl right there, little four-legged girl. She likes to ride next to mama right there on her pillow. Anyway, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day and hope this uh, educates somebody out there, helps somebody understand a little something. Till next time, be safe.